The Galerie Nationale du Jeu de Palme is an arts centre for modern and postmodern photography and media. It is located in the north corner west side of the Tuileries Gardens next to the Place de la Concorde in Paris. In 2004, Galerie Nationale du Jeu de Palme, Centre National de la Photographie and Patrimoine Photographique merged to form the Association de Préfiguration for the Etablissement Public Epic Jeu de Palme. History The rectangular building was constructed in 1861 during the reign of Napoleon III. It originally housed real tennis courts, the name of this game in French is Jeu de Palme. Nazi sorting house Jeu de Palme was used from 1940 to 1944 to store Nazi plunder looted by the regime's Reichsleiter Rosenberg Taskfosse in France see Rose Vallon. These works included masterpieces from the collections of French Jewish families like the Rothschilds, the David Wiles, the Bernheims, and noted dealers including Paul Rosenberg who specialized in Impressionist and Post-Impressionist works. Hermann Göring commanded that the loot would first be divided between Adolf Hitler and himself. For this reason, from the end of 1940 to the end of 1942 he travelled 20 times to Paris. At Jeux de Palme, art dealer Bruno Loos staged 20 expositions of the newly looted art objects, especially for Goring, from which Goring selected at least 594 pieces for his own collection, the rest was destined for the Fearmuseum in Linz. So-called degenerate art, modern art unworthy in the eyes of the Nazis was legally banned from entering Germany, and so once designated was held in what was called the Martyr's Room at the Jeu de Palme. Much of Paul Rosenberg's professional dealership and personal collection were subsequently so designated by the Nazis. Following Joseph Goebbels's earlier private decree to sell these degenerate works for foreign currency to fund the building of the Fear Museum and the wider war effort, Goering personally appointed a series of air approved dealers, including Hildebrand Gerlet, to liquidate these assets and then pass the funds to swell his personal art collection. With much of the looted degenerate art sold onwards via Switzerland, Rosenberg's collection was scattered across Europe. Unsold art including works by Picasso and Dali was destroyed on a bonfire in the grounds of the Jeu de Palme on the night of 27 July 1942, an act of almost unparalleled vandalism. However, the Nazis had burned nearly 4,000 works of German degenerate art in Berlin in 1939. French resistance curator Rose Valland, who was working at the museum, kept a secret list of all the works passing through, and after the Nazi defeat in 1945 most of these works were thereby returned to their rightful owners. Today, some 70 of Rosenberg's paintings are missing, including, the large Picasso watercolor Naked Woman on the Beach, painted in Provence in 1923, seven works by Matisse, and the portrait of Gabrielle Diet by Degas. Post-war museum Between 1947 and 1986, it contained the Musée du Jeu de Palme, which held many important Impressionist works now housed in the Musée d'Orsay. Widely considered as the most famous museum of Impressionist painting in the world. The rooms bore names such as Salle de Gas, Salle Cézanne, or Salle Monet. From 1989, as part of the Grand Projets of François Mitterrand, the building underwent a $10 million renovation by architect Antoine Stinko, resulting in about 12,700 square feet of exhibition space spread across three floors. The formerly walled-in reception hall was transformed into an atrium-like open area flooded with natural light from large bay windows, allowing views of the neighboring Tuileries Gardens, Place de la Concorde, and Eiffel Tower. The top floor features a series of skylighted galleries. Present In 1991, the Jeu de Palme reopened as France's first National Gallery of Contemporary Art", with an exhibition devoted to Jean Dubuffet. Subsequent retrospectives were dedicated to international artists such as Marcel Broudthers Robert Gober Ellsworth Kelly Helio Oidesisa and Eva Hess 
In 1999, the museum chose American architect Richard Meyer as the subject of its first ever architectural exhibition. In 2004, Galerie Nationale du Jeu de Palme, Centre National de la Photographie and Patrimoine Photographique merged to form the Association de Préfiguration for the Etablissement Public Epic Jeu de Palme. It has since developed into a center for modern and postmodern photography and media, mounting survey exhibitions on Ed Russia 2006, Cindy Sherman 2006, Martin Parr 2009, and William Kentridge 2010, among others. In 2016, it received the anthological solo exhibition of contemporary photograph Helena Almeida. On April 27, 2005, a plaque honoring the work of Rose Vallon to catalogue looted art during the Nazi occupation was placed on the south wall of the Jus de Palme. On December 1, 2018 the museum was torched in politically related mob violence as the Tuileries Gardens were stormed by protesters. Today, the Jus de Palme is subsidized by the French Ministry of Culture and Communication. Attendance increased from 200,000 visitors in 2006 to over 320,000 visitors in 2008. Topic: In popular culture. The museum's wartime history has been depicted, heavily fictionalized, several times on film. In John Frankenheimer's 1964 film The Train, starring Burt Lancaster and Jean Moreau, Rose Valland is represented as Mademoiselle Villard, played by Suzanne Flan. In George Clooney's 2014 film The Monuments Men, Valland is represented as Claire Simone, played by Kate Blanchett. In Anatole Litvick's 1967 film The Night of the Generals, Peter O'Toole's character General Tans, visits the museum and is transfixed by a self-portrait of Vincent van Gogh, referenced as Vincent in Flames. In Sarah Hotling's novel, Pictures at an Exhibition, 2009, the character of Rose Clement is based on Rose Vallon. The novel Portrait of a Woman in White, by Susan Winkler, about Nazi art looting in France, includes scenes in the Jus de Palme with Hermann Goring and Rose Vallon. See also List of museums in Paris